Hello, my name is Olivier Charbonneau, and I'm a librarian at Concordia University. The goal of this video is to show you how to use the Image, Waiver, and Copyright License form as part of Ted Little's Neighborhood Theater class. Now I'm going to cover three things with you today. First of all, I'm going to give you some general information about the law. Secondly, I'm going to talk about how the form works and how you're going to use it within the context of Ted Little's class. And finally, uh, I'm going to go through the contract itself and explain to you line by line what it means. So first of all, this there are two main legal issues that we have to deal with with this contract or this form. First one is privacy and the second one is copyright. So with regards to privacy, people in Quebec and in Canada have a right to privacy and you're not supposed to go about filming everyone and using that con that footage or that content or those images as part of art or other creations without getting their consent, without asking for permission or seeking approval. Those are all the same things. And that's why we have you sign this form and have the people who participate on your project sign this form to make sure they understand that their image and their name and their affiliation is going to be used in a variety of, of ways as per the requirements of your course. There are three exceptions when you don't need to seek permission. Uh, that Those were established by the Supreme Court in a famous case, an interesting case. And uh, let me just run through them really quickly. So first of all, uh, if certain aspects of the private life of a person who has acquired a certain notoriety can become matters of public interest. So secondly, uh, if a previously unknown individual is called upon to play a high-profile role within the public domain. Or thirdly, if an individual's action, albeit unwittingly, accidentally caused him or her to be captured in an incidental manner. Okay, so if you're, uh, you know, you want to shoot a park and somebody just happens to be there, but really you're trying to focus your, uh, your image on... Uh, the statue in the park and, you know, the person just, you know, so that's an example. Or, you know, if, if there's a public manifestation or, uh, you know, and then you're, you're panning your camera on that and people are identifiable that way. Well, that's because it's, that's fine. It's anyway. So those are cases where uh, the, you don't need to ask for permission for everybody in your footage or in your, in your images because, you know, there, uh, there are exceptions. But in general, we ask that you always seek permission. Uh, through the form, okay? So that's for the privacy issues. Uh, secondly, uh, copyright. Now, of course, you'll be the owners of the works that you're creating, but if you're including other copyrighted material, or if other people are participating in your project, you have to make sure that they understand that their copyright, their parts, the parts that they would own, uh, are, are going to be used in a way that they're going to be transmitted on the internet and they're going to be made available in other ways. Um, for example, posting on YouTube is usually what, what's going to happen with this content. So the idea here is you have to make sure that they understand that they're transferring the rights and you yourself, as the creator of a new artwork, owning copyright, must transfer this copyright over so that we can use your footage and your material in the ways that are part of making it available on the free web. So that's in general uh, for uh, for copyright. And also you have to be careful when you're incorporating other copyrighted works like music and other things like that. Usually you're not allowed to use copyrighted music unless you qualify for fair dealings, but that's not gonna happen often, especially when art is involved. Um, and uh, there's gonna be a separate video created about using uh, works from the public domain or under Creative Commons. So you may want to look for that video or some copyright guides that we have on the library website to learn more about copyright. But with regards to the form, you have to be careful about privacy and you have to be careful about copyright, especially if others are included in your artwork. And um, you have to have everybody who participates in the project sign a form. Which actually brings us to the second thing I want to talk to you about today is how to use the form. Now, anybody who holds a camera, appears on camera, or works with you in the background or anywhere else in creating the content and bringing it to, uh, to your project, they have to sign a form. Okay. And the way it works is it's exactly the same form that you have to sign and give back to Ted Little, uh, except anybody else who participates in your project, you have them sign a form and you keep it. Because the way it, hap the way it happens is you become the channel by which you aggregate all of people's copyrights and image rights and you make sure 
you have to do your due diligence to make sure that you've obtained everybody's image rights and copyrights, right? By having them sign the forms and making sure they understand that this is going to be placed on the internet and used for, for a while. Um, and then you keep those forms, right? And then you only sign one form that you give to Ted Little for yourself. And that form certifies that you've obtained the copyrights and image rights for anybody in your project and yourself. And then Ted will keep this form as per, because it's a contract, right? And will be, will be uh, dealt with uh, appropriately by the university. So now let's, now that we've talked about uh, the law and the process by which we'll go about handling these, uh, uh, handling these forms, let's go into the text itself and let's read uh, this, uh, this uh, image waiver and copyright license. So I'm going to first read a sentence and I'm going to stop and I'm going to explain what it means. Uh, hopefully it'll be clear enough. Now, by signing below, I hereby grant Concordia University, the university, the right to use and broadcast my image, both in photographic as well as in electronic form, my name, my voice, and my affiliation with the university, and more particularly, uh, stopping here, this first part really covers your privacy rights, obviously. So first little bullet, uh, using my participation in the course entitled TDEV 4980-2, STUA, the Neighborhood Theater, and the project entitled Neighborhood Theater in Residence at Mont Montreal's Historic and Independent Atwater Library. So essentially saying that, you know, we'll be using uh, this information and your image and yourself and your name as part of, uh, as part of uh, the content that you've created. Second little bullet, my work produced or submitted in the context of the above mentioned course and project and the recorded lecture, music, artwork, performance pieces, etc. listed in the section entitled project below my work. This actually starts covering the copyright aspect of uh, the works that you're using as part of this project. Okay, so we'll be using these things, your images, your image your privacy and your copyrighted works for the purposes of tracking and documenting portions of the course, my work and my views as they progress and other class outcomes, learning outcomes, and for the advancement and support of the objectives of teaching, learning and pedagogy. That's the purpose. That's why we're going to use them. Okay. This right is perpetual royalty-free, worldwide, non-exclusive, and transferable. And that's part of the reason why we have, I mean, it sounds a little broad, but it has to be. For example, if we want to post this video on YouTube, well, that's the perpetual, because, you know, we may want to keep, that, keep, keep it up there for a while. Um, royalty free because you know it's this is not this is not no money is being exchanged here worldwide because that's the audience of the internet and non-exclusive and transferable it has to be transferable because if we post it on youtube we need to be able to transfer these image and copyrights as part of the youtube license uh, and non-exclusive means that you know you still retain your copyrights we just have a use right like you haven't transferred your copyright we just ask you to use a, a small part of it in a non-exclusive way Okay. I understand that my image, my voice, name, and university affiliation, as well as my work, may be used in both written and electronic communications and presentations, may be broadcast, made available online, performed in public, or reproduced for the purpose. Now, this is getting into how we're going to use uh, your uh, privacy rights and anybody who's participate in your project as well as your and their copyrights. Uh, essentially saying that we could post this in, on the internet, we could show this in class, we could show this in public for uh, as part of the purpose. Okay? And the purpose was defined above. Uh, I waive any and all copyright, including moral rights that I may have in my image and my work, only with respects to their use for the purpose. This is just to confirm that uh, you really understand that you're allowing us to do this as per this license and you just, you know, that, that you understand how it's going to work. Uh, I further warrant that I own and have obtained all the copyright and moral rights 
and image rights, allowing me to execute the present image waiver and copyright license. That's the part where if anybody else collaborates with you on this project, uh, that you've obtained their image rights and, and copyrights and moral rights as per this license, then you can transfer it back to us. So by signing below on this, on this license, uh, you guarantee for yourself and for anybody else who's participated in your project. And that's why you have to have your friends and colleagues and whoever participates in your project to sign a, a form and keep it yourself. All right. So I hope this explains the image waiver and copyright license uh, process. And uh, if you have any questions, well, try to read up on copyright by reading one of the guides on the uh, library website.